tell me another three points on the board. A lovely afternoon at the EBB Stadium, right? Yeah, I think it was a game of two halves. I thought we were dominant in the first half. We played some really good stuff. Um, listen, I can talk about the elephant in the room now because after last weekend, we were never going to hit that sort of height. You know, people look, the expectation levels are rising here, and I, lo and I love that. I don't mind that. It's a pressure that these players probably haven't had for a long time. But the fans are understanding of the way we try and play the game, I think. Um, and, you know, nobody could argue that we should have been probably more than 1-0 one, one up at half-time. Having said that, and give credit to the opposition, they changed what they were doing. They changed the way they... I thought they played much better in the second half, and, and we found it more difficult to... to create the chances that we had in the first but it's a one result that we haven't had this season that I'm delighted to take off the list because to win 1-0 in any any league in any league is tough it's tough because you've got to stay on your metal you know at the, at the other end of the pitch the whole 95 105 minutes whatever it was so to a man they deserve a pat on the back today they put in a really good shift on it on it on a heavy pitch it was quite it was wet out there so I'm I'm absolutely delighted to be honest well, yeah, you, you said it there, you know, the clean sheet at home is something that has eluded us a fair bit this mm. season. So to have that, do you think it will give the, the back line and, and Geordie a bit of more confidence that it can be done now? Well, I think there's confidence running through the whole club at the moment. You know, they, we're in a good place. The, the, the training ground's a really happy place and it's it's a working environment, but it's it's enjoyable to come into work because lads are on the top of their games. Hopefully, the, the whatever's happened to Theo is, isn't major. Um, but ultimately, you know, it's... It, I'm delighted for Geordie because Geordie's apparently made near enough the second most saves in the division. So let's not just talk about the three lads who now have scored 30 goals between them, mind. Um, there's, there's people who are feeding and, and serving them guys and they're really respectful of them. And I've, I think we've got a really good group here who, who understand what I, what I want. Um, not always give it me exactly, but um, listen, I'm over the moon with three points. Every point in this, this division it should be treasured and, and for us to get the 30 by the time we have is a real achievement by the group. As you said a little bit earlier there, the pressure from last weekend was, was potential, wasn't it? Obviously, you know, scoring that many goals against a League Two side and then facing the team that, that was in, at the bottom of the division the next weekend, if, you know, we're going to have that expectation. And, and are you proud of the lads for not letting that get to their heads and going out and doing the, jo doing the job? Absolutely. That, that, listen, that's professionalism. You've got to, you've got to, there's a different puzzle put in front of us every Saturday, whether it's in a league competition or a cup competition. And obviously, last week, the expectation levels probably weren't as high as what they were this, this weekend from, the, from outside the dressing room. We had the same belief before this game as we did last weekend, and we want to do the same things. You know, we, it's not a rocket science to understand that we didn't prepare that much differently for this game. Um, other, other than we've expected probably to have a little bit more ball than the opposition, whereas against Swindon, you, you expect it to be you have a go, we have a go. So, look, it takes all sorts of ingredients to win a football match, and I'm delighted I saw some of the ones that you need. You need a bit of heart, you need a bit of you know, grit and determination. On today of all days, um, I thought Aldershot Town Football Club has re represented the town fantastically well. Yeah, as you say there, you know, there was 10 minutes before the game where the football went out the window, wasn't it? Yeah. But you could have heard a pin drop. Oh. Credit to Kidderminster fans as well who, who observed it brilliantly. But it's great to see the club represent that so well. Isn't it? Unbelievable. It's the, best, it's the best version of that I've ever seen. I had a lump in my throat, TMI. Um, we've, all, we've all got um, connections to the past where somebody was lost, you know, and so... Yeah. And I'm a big believer in, in that, lest we forget. It's simple as that, you know. And this, that was unbelievable. The, the armed services, the bugle guys, everything was absolutely impeccable. And to every one of the nearly 3,000 fans, they deserve a pat on the back for, for paying for the ultimate respect. I thought it was great. And another brilliant attendance as well that, that only seems to be rising. So it's good to see that the feel-good factor that you talk about on the training ground and on the pitch is, is, is going to the fans as well, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, listen, onwards and upwards as far as I'm concerned. We, you know, we, I, I keep telling you I don't really look at the table that often or that much and I'm aware where we are roughly. But what I do know is ain't nobody jumping over us if we keep winning games. So, you know, the, the, like I said, the fans have, have backed me and the boys from the moment I've been in the building but this season like I said I think we're just we're riding a little bit of a wave and it's a good period listen you've got to enjoy it football will kick you up the backside as much as a pat you on the back um, so we've got to stick together during this good period but we also got if there's a rock you know a bump in the road we've, we've got to stick together as well so I hope that's a long way in the future